This is Mike from Professional Machinery Sales. This is going to be a short video on uh, the ease of uh, KCD to use, uh, even for those uh, without uh, any computer experience. This is our floor plan, and I'll uh, just switch to an elevation plan by using a space bar. Um, we'll move over to the uh, uh, select a frame uh, versus frameless a style of construction. You can do either. Uh, on this um, uh, menu, you can uh, select either top cabinets, base cabinets. Uh, it's kind of uh, listed as uh, order of popularity, I guess, or frequency. Then you have appliances uh, and tall cabinets, and then many, many, many others I won't get into right away angle cabinets, kick boxes, and things of that nature. But right now we'll just go ahead and pick a uh, an appliance here. We'll pick a stove, and what we'll do is you just need to pick the uh, appliance. You say how wide something is, and where you want it. And I'll go ahead and select 110. Uh, and I'll sh it's not exactly right, but I'll show you that why in a minute. Put uh, slide in. And what we're going to do is go here and go ahead and select this. And you can actually snap it into position. You see it was a couple inches off. Snap it in there. Then go back up and pick another uh, cabinet. Let's pick a base cabinet. Now it will remember where you were, uh, your last pro what your last uh, item was you selected. And you can uh, actually go in there and say, OK, this, uh, you can see we got 22 inches here. Uh, 22 inches. And we'll just go to the right of what we had there and place it. Now we'll go ahead and select a top cabinet. And we have one here uh, with a stove hood on it. OK, we can, 30 is fine. And because I already know it was 110 less 2, it would be 108. And put it in there. Then we can pick another top cabinet. I'm just selecting easy things here to begin with. Make this a little more uh, faster. 22 inches. And remember, it's the last hiding you put in there. So go to the right of it and go ahead and place it. Now, undoubtedly, the next thing you might want to do with your customers is go ahead and show a 3D perspective of it. Depending on what kind of RAM you have in your computer and how much space you have, this uh, resolution will come in uh, fairly fast within a couple minutes or so. You can see the resolution is good enough. You can actually see the uh, shelves in here. But you can actually, uh, because many times you know kitchens have four walls, you can actually go in here uh, and rotate this to right where you want it. And you can see here we have a wall in the way. So what we can do before that comes to full resolution, I can go in here and delete this one wall. It's just deleting it in the form of the picture, not on the actual program. And actually change your textures. We can put some, um, you know, uh, leaves. Uh, let's say on the wall, on the picture, drywall. Let's see, close. Let's see, save it. Close. And now you can actually see that. There we go. You can change the colors, the floor of. You know, the whole has a bunch of color schemes in here, uh, literally just tons of them. And here comes 82% uh, resolution. And we'll just go back to 2D here before it gets all the way back done. Now, another thing you can actually do here is go ahead and add some molding here, or finish it out, I should say. You have a uh, all tons of molding in here. We'll just go ahead and change what we actually have here. Actually not change it, but just add it and finish the molding right here. Uh, another thing that we can do is take the doors off here. And I'll show you how custom this can actually be. It's not just for standard cabinets. You can actually go in here and say, let's make this 21 and say uh, an eighth. And we can actually go in here and make this 30 inches tall. We can make the right style here uh, 4 inches because it's against the wall here, or at least it, it was until I changed the, the width here a little bit. And 
then we can actually maybe make it one shelf instead. Go in here and make those changes. You can see the 7th age, 7th eighth of an inch, 21 and an eighth here, and 30 and one shelf. So uh, in a, another nice feature about this program is that you can actually go up here and change your levels from what the customer kind of wants to um, your uh, full dimensions here. And here's your 4 inches uh, dimension here, all your face dimensions. And then you can actually go here. Another benefit is you can get your door sizes here. Uh, doors and drawers, which is very beneficial because if you got this wrong, it wouldn't be the customer paying for that. That would be, uh, you know, if you're the owner, you'd be end up paying for that. Um, another uh, quick thing we can do here is actually change your doors. And you can see here we have uh, a lot of different doors, uh, NDF flat panels, and things of this nature. You can actually go up here and put your most popular ones down here. And then we can actually go here and say, uh, just put a uh, shaker type door, flat panel thing here, and say OK. And there you have it. Uh, we have a uh, change of doors. Uh, you can change, go back and change doors uh, to, you know, maybe a different style of cabinets, for instance, the, uh, from doors to drawers. Uh, but the whole point of the program uh, is kind of a make a proposal. Uh, if you're using a laptop, uh, maybe it'll make, uh, give you the advantage of not only looking more professional, but perhaps it'll allow you to uh, save time by making a proposal on one visit. Uh, and the whole point of the matter is to try uh, and attain the order in the first place. So this, uh, this should help you out quite a bit.